How doing everyone? Welcome to Boxing Science. This video is sponsored by Sarg Fitness and this is a strength and power workout just using four pieces of equipment. We've got the Boxing Science bands, we've got a five kilo med ball, and we've got a 20 kilo kettlebell. Now you can change the weight of these, let's say between 12 and 24 kilos on the kettlebell and between three and seven kilos on the medicine ball. So if you've got any questions about any of the exercises, please leave them in the comment box below. I hope you enjoy the workout. We we'll grab a med ball, starting from chest position, coming up onto our toes, slamming down, getting into that bottom of the counter movement jump position, and then driving up. So the med ball slam, obviously the weight coming down and the speed that you're coming down at will increase the amount of force that you're putting through the floor. Then you've got to kind of drive up out of that hole. Once he toes, drive down. Drop and drive, good. Yeah, that's nice. A little bit quicker out of that hole. Nice, want it just in front of your head there. The more it goes behind your head, the more arm movement it'll be. And also, the more kind of compensatory pattern that you'll see from extending your back. So you go there, your core switched on. It's more your core driving it down rather than just flinging it back, forward and back with your arms. Solid, solid, good. Solid, dip down, good. Good. Five on each side. This looks good, Stephen. When we're going a little bit heavier, what's that teaching you is to just dip your hips a little bit more, get you a bit more balance. You should have felt that more in your glutes on that one. Med ball punches into the wall. Start from a static start, open stance. Elbow slightly flexed here. I'm driving into the wall, turning that back foot, driving into the floor and stiffening up. Glutes, core, shoulders, all switched on. Three. Two, one, good. Three, two, one. Turning the, all your body into it. Three, two, one, good. Do it with your head long. You feel like your traps yeah. start switching on there. And if you have your head there and sit down into it, sit the shoulders in, you should feel like your core and everything switching on there and getting more of your weight behind it. Do with another athlete the other day where they were like, literally they were doing it and they're doing the med ball, they're pushing it there, and all they're wanting to do is use these shoulders because they're, that's what's strong and taking over. You want to fire it a little bit lower so the hand's just on line with your shoulder so you get more of your body weight behind it. Good work. Three, two, one. We've got kettlebell swing with bands. Just wide the hip width apart. Stand up straight, slight knee flexion to the first rep because you need to be able to attack it to get the momentum going. Uh, I'd say let's do uh, eight reps. First two sub-maximal and then six max effort, yeah? So do one, two, and then drive. Go into your six like that. With normal kettlebell swings, like, People can just like kind of loosen off there and start using the back. Here, you've got to really switch on your uh, your glutes and your core and really tense up to make sure that you maintain that position. And when you drop down, the bands are dragging it back in. So that's increasing the eccentric demand. So again, similar with the med ball slam to jump, it's increasing that eccentric demand. So it's challenging that eccentric utilization for you to be able to pop up back out of it. So as soon as it comes down, dip your hips, Dip your knees, really accelerate out of the bottom. One, two, let's go for it. One, hips all the way through, get tall. Four. Yeah, good, better. Okay, so you lost a little bit of balance there. First two, you're kind of going up onto your toes, so you've got to keep sitting down into it. Really drive through, keep glutes and core nice and tense. Legs at 90 degrees, hands apart so then this is tight. So everything's tight. They're tight here, tight there, a lot of tension through your core. Toes up towards your shin. Okay, and you're gonna drop one leg down, keep the other leg there, good, and then other side. Good, so the challenge is, is to try and get as long as you can whilst keeping stomach and lower back, stomach tense, lower back and floor. And then this other leg stays at exactly in the same position, which you're doing fantastic there. Good work, keep that tension. Good, eight on each side. Tension, tension, tension all the way through. 
normal band pull apart to get it towards the outside. Then you pull in with the arm straight. This one you grab in a little bit closer to the inside so you get more tension. Push out and then we control it about three, two, one. It's important as well, well find it tough that you're not just compensating through the back. Keep your rib cage down, shoulder blades back and down, and we're controlling it back to the center. Let's go for eight reps. Good. Three, two, one. Good. Push out. Back. Three, two, one. Shoulders back and down. Core nice and tense. Push out. Good. Three, two, one. Good. Good. And you try and keep them trap switched off by just going there. That's it. Push out. Straight arms. So make sure that you're pushing out from there. Extend and then come back. So push out. Extend them arms. Good. And then three, two, one. You're feeling it just between the shoulder blades there. Yeah, it's good. Two, get your hips all the way through. Good. Glutes tense, core tense. Good. Nice work. Yeah, good work. Press up with bands, so just making the press ups a little bit harder. You've got to really accelerate to drive all the way up. So I want you to pause slightly at the bottom. So you're going to get it in a figure of eight. Mount top of your back. Elbows in the middle of the bands. Get your feet quite wide because the increased tension on top of your back will make your hips want to drop. And with your kind of posture anyway, I think you want to do that. So you want to try and get your feet a little bit wider. Stomach tucked in. Shoulders pin back and down. Hold and drive up. Hands shoulder width apart. Elbow tucked in. Hold. Then drive up. Yeah, good. Stomach tucked in. Hold and then go. Good. Elbows just on inside of that band as well. So, so like that. That's it. Fist down, let's start off with. We're turning your hand in, rotating. Drop it down, as soon as it's down, go straight back into that next rep. What I don't want to see is when you rotate, is your legs moving or compensating using that back, so just going up. So if you can only rotate to there, but you're getting most of the rotation through your upper back, that's what I want to see, rather than trying to get as much rotation as you can. Good, shoulders back and down. Pop that chest up a little bit more. Good. Row it a little bit higher into your armpit. Yeah, good. Nice work. So you've got to accelerate all the way through the movement. Good. Hips up a little bit. Good. Yeah. Good. Lead with your hips. Lead with your hips. Yeah, that's it. Perfect. Perfect technique, that. Yeah. So when I say lead with your hips, it's because when the band's on, on your back, you kind of like have that emphasis to kind of push up first, push your upper body up first and then leave your hips behind. So you kind of need to lead with your hips to make sure that your body stays, yeah, everything's together. But yeah, great technique, well done. Good, arm a little bit wider, shoulder, roll that right shoulder back, good, from there. Good, and watch that knee coming in. Yeah, that's good. Good technique, well done. So you're gonna get the band, so the outside of your hand, shoulders back and down, arms out straight. We step, 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 whilst keeping the arm central. Knees slightly bent. And we're stepping back in little steps. What I don't want to see is when you come out, it's like you step and then move, step and then move. You want to keep, keep the hand central all the way through. Belly button tucked in. Two, three, and then back. One, two, three. Head back. Yeah, good. One, two, three. One, two, three. Try and get back out a little bit further this time. One, two, three. Yeah, it's pulling a little bit more. Two, three. Then that momentum on way back is a little bit harder to control. Little steps, little steps, little steps. Good, other side. So if you just look at Steven here, with anchor point, it's going quite diagonal with this. And this is what you'll tend to do, boxers will tend to because they want to use the shoulders more, so they want to move away. So what I want you to do, Stephen, is just step back a little bit. So then the, it might be because that table's there as well, <laughs> but 
you want that you want that band being online with the anchor point all the time and you should feel that a lot more in your core now so step out step out step out it's a little bit harder yeah yeah two three good two three uh in a split stance position front leg further away from where you're throwing it to and we're catching it slight rotation of the upper body and then we're throwing Good. Five reps. One more. Good. Toes pointed out a little bit more. Sit into it. Flex that right knee. Yeah, that's it. Hey. Good work.